What's going on, my people here? Chilling in the wide open state of Georgia. Everything's open, man. What's going on with everybody, man? Um, today we're gonna talk about. Um, today we're gonna talk about something, man. We're gonna talk about what's the process for day cab truck driver to layover. We're gonna talk about the process. When I say day cab, meaning meaning all the all the guys that you know. The guys that work in food service, um, the LTL guys, just all the guys that um, have a day cab, right? So first of all, if you have a day cab and you're going out of state, it's a little bit different from a sleeper, obviously. You can't just stop at any truck, tr truck stop and reset. So what you gotta do most of the time your company is gonna already gonna have it pre-planned for a hotel you get to stay at, right? Now you're gonna run into some instance where the trip is not gonna go as planned, so you gotta kinda like make adjustments, right? Um you gotta like pull over, figure out where you're gonna be. Um, trying to figure out, try to figure out what hotel um, you're able to go to. You got to figure out what hotel you can go to. You got to find out if you can park a truck there because um, not all hotels you can park a truck. Um, you got to find out if they take your company's card. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a long process. Um, you got some companies they make it easier. But most of the times, some of us, we're on our own out here, right? Because, and one of the main reasons, because the trip don't always go as planned, right? Trip planning, man, that's one of the most important thing in um, over the road and look, and um, over the road, over the road trucking. Trip planning is one of the most important things. You have to be able to plan out your trip wisely. Um, you just you gotta know what you're doing. I'm gonna give you guys I'm gonna give you guys an example, right? So I'm running with a couple other guys. They're running with us, right? It's like it was like three trucks. We were driving behind each other, right? So I told the other guys, I'm like, yo, I think we should stop here and reset here because. If we keep going, it's kind of busy in that city. And if we got a nice truck park in here, and we don't got to rush, you know, and we can reset, get back on the road early, one o'clock in the morning, keep on riding. But, you know, some, some people, they think that if you keep on driving and try to get to the closest as possible to where you're going, but then you're gonna have a chance to run out your clock. You're gonna have a chance to get a violation. You know, so when it comes time to lay over, my advice is start looking for a hotel with two hours left on the clock. Just, just leave yourself two hours, right? And the reason I said that because Say you had somewhere in mind to stay at. We got anybody in here? We got four people in here, man. Y'all with me? Um, check in, check in, check in. Let me know y'all with me. So let's just say you had um you plan to stay somewhere, right? And you got 40 minutes left on the clock. You pull over to go to the hotel. Then you realize that that hotel that you booked, you realize that you can't park nowhere. What you gonna do now? You got 40 minutes, right? But let's just say you got that two hours like I told you about and you pulled over. 
and you realize you can't park. Now you got now you left yourself time for adjust for adjustment. So when you lay over in the day cab, you, it's much harder than laying over in a sleeper because you know guys that drive the sleepers, they can easily um they can easily what you call it. They can easily just pull over to any truck stop and they'll be all right. Trucker Star Sean, what's going on, man? But when we're in the day cab, it's not that easy. We gotta, we gotta actually like, we gotta sit back. We gotta plan out our route. We gotta be like, you know what? If I'm in North Carolina and if I'm in, say, say if I'm in Charlotte and I'm trying to make it down to like, say you're in Charlotte and you say, you know what, let me try to do, um, I'm going to try to do 500 miles before I pull over, right? So what I would do, I would do like 300 miles, then I pull over, then I start like planning my hotel, right? Don't ever try to plan your hotel too early, in my opinion, I'm going to tell you why. Because anything can happen on the road, man. You never know what can happen, right? Anything can happen out here. You know what I'm saying? Tanya Morris, what's going on? Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, man, in this trucking game, trip planning is a big thing, man. A lot of guys take it for granted. Um, I'm gonna tell you how I screwed up this morning. And I didn't really screw it up. It's just um, where I went to make the delivery. And of course, I went to U.S. Foods, warehouse to warehouse. Where I went to make the delivery. Appreciate that. So where I went to make the delivery, right? They didn't take my delivery until eight o'clock. So I'm gonna tell you how trip planning comes in handy, right? I started my 14 hour clock at two o'clock in the morning, right? So, any love bug? I ain't seen no love bugs yet, not yet. So you know when you start your 14 hour clock at 2 a.m., you got to get off that clock by. If you start at 2 a.m., you got to get off the clock by what? 4 4 p.m., right? 2 to 2, that's 12 hours. Yeah, you got to get off by 4 p.m., right? So this is how I messed up. 4 p.m., right? 4 p.m., 2 to 2? Yeah, 4 p.m. So this is how I messed up, right? I was one hour away from where I needed to deliver. So technically, I shouldn't have started my clock until about six o'clock. <clears throat> then I would have been able to, um, I could have still be running. If I started my clock at six, I could have be running until eight o'clock tonight. But because I didn't know they were gonna take so long to offload me, man, you know? So some of the time, man, like us as truck drivers, we gotta ask questions. We just gotta find out what's going on out there, man. You know, like trip planning—that's a key key thing um, in the trucking industry, man. You know, and a lot of people think, um, like food service drivers, LTL drivers. A lot of people think that it's all local. It's not all local. Um, it's a lot of food service drivers that go out of town, stay overnight. Um, it's a lot of LTL drivers that go out of town, stay overnight. I ain't been home since Sunday, <laughs> you know? And I'm not gonna be home until tomorrow. It's been years since I, I've been gone that long. It's been a long time since I drove.
Any thoughts on the um, meat shortages? Man, I say we all go vegetarian, man. I say we all go vegetarian. That's crazy, though. That is crazy. That's why I'm telling you, man. I want to, um, I want to live on a farmhouse, man. I want to, um, get me a big old farmhouse, Ocala, Florida, somewhere. Raise my own, um, get my own chickens, get my own animals, plant, um, plant my own food. Yeah, they want, hey, they really controlling the world now. They really controlling the population now, if you think about it. You know? They are definitely controlling the population. You know? For real, for real. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I want to live, I want to live that farm life, man. You know? Everything getting crazy. Appreciate everybody for coming through. But that being said, we gonna have us a little raffle. We gonna have us a little raffle here. I, I got any starting bids and I still got a lot in it. <laughs> hey, you still got like, um, See, it's still good. See? Any starting bids? <laughs> I'm going to start the bid at $500. People going crazy over Lysol, man. Nobody can't find Lysol. Nowhere. You know what I mean? Everybody bought up all the damn toilet paper. They forgot to buy the Lysol. They forgot to buy the damn Lysol. It's time for me to find me another bottle, man. This is almost done. This is almost done. <clears throat> yep. Well, we are here, man. Yo, you know the funny thing is? I did a video saying it. <laughs> When I did that video saying I was in Georgia, I, I had some people ask me um, if I left U.S. food. I'm like, I'm like, come on, bro. U.S. food is a big company. Like, we do different things. We do a whole lot of things, man. I'm going to tell you right now. If U.S. food had an um, over-the-road position where I work at, I think I might jump on it. But we don't have no um we don't have no over the road um division we don't have no over the road position in my division. But you got um you got some division, they got logistic drivers. They're kinda like over the road. And I jump on that in a heartbeat. And you don't gotta touch no more cases. And I'm still getting the same insurance and benefits. I'm like, come on man. Can't be that. I jump on that in a heartbeat. What y'all think about that? Anybody that do over the road for a food service company? You wouldn't have to touch nothing. You're basically a logistic driver. You're basically going from DC to DC. Picking up loads, dropping off loads, picking up loads, dropping off loads. I do that in a heartbeat. I ain't gonna lie to you. I met a um a couple years ago, I met a logistic driver. He was from, um, I think he was from the Tampa division. He said he left out, he'll leave out on a Monday. They'll come home on a Wednesday. They'll spend a day at home, spend a night at home. Then he'll go back out on a Thursday. And he'll come back in on a Friday. So it wasn't that bad, man. It wasn't bad at all. Yeah, but I always tell myself, man, I, I, 
I do, I do, I do over the road for a company like this because the fact that I already know it's a good company, you know, and the fact that you know in the back, you know in the back of your head that if you do over the road for a company like this, and you stay in your position for like six months, if you don't like it, you can always transfer back. L.A. Green, what's going on? Oh, yeah, we good. Everything good. We good. Well, well I'm going be honest with y'all. I'm trying to be good, but I'm, I'm good, though. Well, my mom would want me to be good, so I'm good. I'm going be honest with you. I don't think my mom would want me to be sad right now, so I'm good. You know? I'm just trying to live the way that I'm just trying to live the way I know that my mom would want me to be so you know that's how I'm trying to be you know it's tough but you know I gotta stay strong I gotta keep on pushing you know what I mean I gotta keep on pushing and, you know I'm just gonna take it day by day man I'm gonna take it day by day but for the first time in my life, <laughs> it's crazy. For the first time in my life, for the first time in my life, I can't pick up the phone and call my mom. You know, so it's like it's gonna be a big learning curve, man. You know, it's, it ain't easy, man. I'm telling you, it ain't easy. <clears throat> but driving, driving, working, that's been good for me, cause um. You know, I like to work and that kind of keep my mind, like, kind of been keeping my mind on point, on track, you know? Like I told my job, I'm like, <clears throat> I called my manager, I called my manager, and when I told him the news, I'm like, yo, I just need you to do me a favor, right? I'm like, please just keep me busy. You know, like, if there's anything you can do for me, just keep me busy because the more I drive, when I, when I drive and I'm on the open road and um, my mind just like, it's like driving is like therapy for me, you feel me? So, you know, well, we good, man, you know, we good, me and my sisters. Well, I ain't gonna lie, my sisters, they're not good. They're, it's pretty rough for them right now. Especially my baby sister. You know? And my and all my mom's grandkids. My mom love her grandkids, boy. She used to spoil her grandkids. She used to spoil the heck out of them. You know, my mom was like the nicest person in the world. And she always like caring and sharing and stuff like that so what i'm gonna do what i what i think i'm gonna do well what i know i'm gonna do i'm gonna um i'm gonna um i'm gonna come up with a charity in her name and, and honor her of, of her because i know she was a give she was a give she was a give 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 she'll give you her last dollar though her last dollar like if my mom had a dollar and uh, you was broke, she'll give you her dollar and she'll like, and she'll be broke. And I used to be like, yo, what's up? I could never understand it. You know, but it's all good, man. Yo, one thing though, to change the subject for a second, right? We got four people in the building, right? I'm gonna ask you guys a question, right? And this is a serious question, right? Five people in the building. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. This is a serious question. Do you guys think that any kids deserve to fail this year? Because in my opinion, 
even though it's going to be some kids out there that's going to like what I got to say because they know they don't deserve it, but I think every kid deserved a pass this year. I don't think no teachers should fail any kids this year because it's not their fault. Every kid learned different. Um, not a lot of kids is, is benefiting off that Zoom stuff that they're doing. And um, I don't want to see no kids held back. Um, not all the kids had computers. Kids had to borrow computers. Um, schools didn't have computers to give out to these kids. You had kids had to go pick up their work from school. Um, you got some, some parents that they didn't even have gas to um, go pick up the work. So I think they should do like, you know, um, I think they should continue doing like online classes, but they should do it throughout the summer. Do it throughout the summer, but I want every single kid to pass. Now, I know there's going to be a few kids out there that's cheering me on right now and be like, yeah, we want this man for a principal. But, yeah, y'all going to get away with it. But, like, the majority of kids, the majority of kids are trying, you know. They, they do care. They are doing what they got to do. But I'm going to tell you, like, this online class stuff, that, sh that crap is like, it's like system is crashing, all type of stuff, man. So you telling me that. Why should a few kids have to suffer because of what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So I just think, in my opinion, you know, I just think that every kid should uh, pass. And um, <clears throat> I don't want to see no kids left behind this year. None. Uh, There's going to be problems. You know what I mean? Like major problems. Like none. You know what I mean? What y'all think about that? We got eight people in the, in the building. What y'all think about that? And I know it's going to suck. This year is going to kind of suck for, like, the seniors. You know, the seniors in high school. It's going to suck for, like, the freshmen. You know, the freshmen in high school. Because <laughs> coming next year, they're going to be, like, still, like, actually, like, freshmen. Because they didn't really get over that freshman stage. They're still trying to get to know the school. It sucks for the kindergartners that's just getting into school. It really sucks for them. You know? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm on break. Yup. It's gonna suck for, um... It just, it's, it's just gonna be a sorry year, man. Um, Sebastian, what's going on? You know, graduation, um... The valid, valedictorian. You know how they always compete. Who gonna be the valedictorian? They've been preparing their speech for, like, the last three years. Cause you know them smart kids, like they so smart that they know they're gonna be valedictorian. That they've been prepping that speech ever since ninth grade. They've been prepping that speech. It's gonna suck for them. Um, it, it's gonna suck. It kind of sucked for the NFL draft. Sucks for the NBA fans. Twenty twenty just been like a rough year, man. Vernon, what's going on, man? Appreciate that. Appreciate that, bro. That's all we can do. Keep on. Yeah, but 2020, man. 2020? <laughs> 2020 is rough. I ain't even gonna lie. 2020 is rough. But you gotta know how I always talk about my, um, my Father's Day barbecue. My Father's Day barbecue got messed up. <clears throat> but next year, when everything is fine, hopefully, I pray that everything is fine. I'm also going to do a Mother's Day barbecue and a Father's Day barbecue because it's only right. <laughs> it's only right that I do a Mother's Day barbecue, right? Because Mother's Day is right around the corner. You know? So that's going to be kind of rough. It's gonna be all right. We gonna we gonna make it through. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you guys know that. Um, you know, like I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Um, my grandma and my mother they did a good job, man. They raised like 
they raised somebody tough, so they raised somebody tough. So I know it's a lot, a lot of my friends out there worried about me, but I'm good, man. I'm gonna get through this. You feel me? They they raised me right, so you know? I understand life. You know, I understand that life got to go on. You know, I understand that sometimes when people fighting something, you know, sometimes. Sometimes they just get tired of fighting, you know? Sometimes, um, sometimes, sometimes God is just ready for you, you know? And um, you never know the minute or the hour. You never know, you know? That's why people gotta live right, man. You know, like a lot of, like, I be watching some of these trucking YouTube people, man. They're messy, yo. I can't live like that, man. They talking about each other, stuff like that. Talking about each other mamas wife and stuff like that and have a beef and people gotta live right bro you know you gotta live right because you never know when it's gonna be your last day you know and what you want people to remember you for for being messy you know what i mean people gotta live right man people gotta look out for each other help each other you know inspire people motivate people you know what i mean help people like, I be helping, like, truck drivers, especially new truck drivers, and I never ask them for a dime, like, not even one dime. You know what I mean? Not even a dollar. You got some um, some YouTubers, man, they talking about they got a mentorship program. What the fuck is a mentorship program? Like, either you're going to give me some advice how to do this or how to do that. Like, what, what's a mentorship program? You know what I mean? Like, they be running, they be running that game, man. Oh, you want to be a part of this mentorship program? You get you, you charging you like fifteen dollars a month, twenty dollars a month, whatever they charging you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get it, bro. They're not righteous, you know. They must. They, they're not righteous at all. They must bite the dust, man. You know. Them people not doing this with a um, clean heart. You know. They're fake. They're frauds. You know what I mean? Mentorship program. That, that shit's funny. Bro. I'm, how about this? I'm starting a mentorship program and it's going to be free. How about that? So, if y'all know any aspiring truck drivers that want to come into trucking, my mentorship program is free. And anybody that want to be a mentor, just let me know. You feel me? free over here we not we don't charge people for it to help them out yo you know so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be breaking up <sighs> yeah but well, we are out here though man um You know, normally when I'm out of time, normally when I'm out of time, you know I'm trying to jump in the pool, but they close the pool, so. Can't jump in the pool today. Cannot jump in the pool, man. Next week, Wednesday, I'm going to try to go to Charlotte. I should be going to Charlotte next week, Wednesday. Um, I already got the spots planned out where I want to stay at. Um, so that, that'll be straight right there. You know? I don't know if I'm going someplace Friday. We'll see. You know? We'll see. Yeah, man, well, we just checking in, though, man. Appreciate everybody for stopping through. Um, I know I'm breaking in and out. Breaking in and out. But if there's any um, truck drivers out there that's trying to get in the game, if y'all need any advice, man, just um, just feel free to reach out to me, man. We here. All right? Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night. 
man. We out, man. Um, first time watching my channel, make sure y'all subscribe. Help this channel grow. Oh, one more thing. You know I don't ask for um, I don't ask for too much, right? But I'm 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 asking you guys. I got four people in here right now, right? And I'm asking you guys a favor. And anybody that gets to this video this long, right? I'm asking all y'all for a favor, okay? Oh, Bink, you knocked down 600 miles. You're on your own with that. <laughs> I quit over the road, man. I ain't doing that no more, Bink. But we got four people up in here right now, and I'm asking everybody for a favor. You know I don't ask for too much, right? But I know you guys got, like, devices at your house. Y'all got, like, computers. Y'all got a couple cell phones. Y'all probably got tablets. What I'm asking y'all to do for me is, um, and I want y'all Appreciate that, Melvin. Appreciate that, bro. But I'm asking everybody a favor. Do me a favor. Y'all got devices at your house. You got computers, laptops, um, tablets. Um, just go to any one of my playlists, right? And let it run. Because while it's running, my commercial is going to be playing. And um, while my commercial play, um, you know, that's good for my channel. So you can run any one of my playlists you want. Just turn on the laptop, let it run. You don't, you don't even got to be around it. Once, once it runs, it's just going to continue running. Just go on my channel, click the playlist. Um, I got a new playlist, um, Cooking cooking with RLC. That's actually a good playlist. You can um, <clears throat> play that for your wife or whatever. And I got I got tons of playlists. So, you know what I'm saying? If y'all can do me that favor, give me a thumbs up, let me know. You know what I'm saying? If I get like at least three three people can do me that favor, run my playlist, just let it run. You know what I mean, <clears throat> you know, we don't ask for too much on this channel, but you know, I'm trying to I got to get my watch time back up. I don't want to get um. All right, Bing. All right, Bing. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Melvin. Appreciate that. You know, I don't want to get demonetized, so. You know, I gotta have my watch time, but my watch time been pretty good. But I just want to stay on top of my game, you know. So appreciate that, Melvin. Yeah, all you gotta do is um go to my channel, click on one of the playlists, and then boom, let it run. You can put on the laptop, the tablet, whatever. Like if you got a if you got a laptop and you got a tablet, you can put a one playlist on the laptop, put another one on the tablet. And I'm telling you, like if you um, stay with your wife or something, or you got a girlfriend or something. Let them watch it. Appreciate that, Jason. Let them watch the um cooking. I got a I got a brand new playlist, Cooking with RLC. It's actually a pretty good playlist. They'll they'll enjoy it. You know what I mean? And we got a we got a we got a lot we got we got a lot of recipe coming um tomorrow. Me and my wife we dropping the um shrimp fried rice recipe. I still got the curry goat coming. I still got the oxtail, oxtail on the stove. I got the oxtail in the oven. Recipe to come. I still got my brown sugar sweet barbecue ribs to come. Man, I got I got recipes for days, man. You know, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. You know, so y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Trust me. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. But we definitely um we definitely got to drop that shrimp fried rice tomorrow. I'm telling you, it's better than um it's better than a Chinese restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Way better than a Chinese restaurant. We gonna drop that one tomorrow. And um, uh, got six people in the building. So I got three people that's willing to run that playlist for me. I appreciate that, appreciate that. And if y'all if y'all get a chance, man, make sure y'all uh, subscribe to Bink Fitness and Trucking, you know? Try to help his channel grow, you know? You know we don't we don't we don't um, make sure y'all subscribe to um, Trucker Star Sean channel also. You know, like support support people man that support me, support people that support me. You know, I support them back. You know what I'm saying? We can support each other in a positive way. You know, like I don't support like none of them negative people. Like straight up. Like if your channel is messy, I don't got time for it. Man, you know. I don't got time for messy people. You know what I'm saying?
know what I mean? Because, you know, like, you guys watch trucking YouTube. You know how these guys be getting messy? And they be talking about beef. If I ever get in a beef with somebody, I'm, I'm going to look for them for real, for real, yo. So I don't got time for that, man. Cause yo, when when me find somebody, yo, like it's it's no play, yo. It's no play. So I don't. I try to avoid some um some trucking people, cause they're messy, yo. They're messy. You know. But yeah, man, this what we um. Cause we got Bink. We got Bink trucking and fitness. On, he's a LTL driver, so he pulling day cab. He layover also. Yeah, Bink. I was telling these people the process about laying over when you got a day cab. You know, it comes with a lot of trip planning. You know, it's a lot of trip planning. Um, things can change during your trip, and you got to be able to make adjustment fast, right? Like, say for instance. Say for instance, um, Bink is coming from, he's coming from South Carolina, right? And he's going to, he's coming from way up in the top of South Carolina and he's going to the bottom in Miami. So, you know, he can't do that in one trip, one run, right? So he got to lay over. Say his office got him um, planned for him to stop in Jacksonville but for some reason, he started 14-hour clock, and something got messed up with his load, and he been sitting for about six, seven hours. So that's seven hours off your 14-hour clock. Now this where this where trip planning come in handy, right? So seven hours off your clock, you you can do one or two things, right? If you know it was gonna be messed up, you can either. Log off, well, you're, you're kind of premeditate that something was gonna go wrong. Log off for another three hours and reset your whole time all over again, right? Or you only got what? Now you're only gonna have what? Seven hours of drive? So seven hours and you driving a YRC, <laughs> you driving a YRC tractor, we know how fast those trucks go. Right? <laughs> and Bink, I know how fast them trucks go. So you got seven hours to drive. So your tractor, you're going to get about 420 miles. So you probably got to make a little adjustment. You know? Probably got to make a little adjustment in your trip. You know what I'm saying? So tri trip planning, man, and this is a key for us local drivers when we lay over. You know what I mean? It's, it's definitely a key. Like for instance, right? I'm gonna give y'all a good example. I stopped in Georgia, right? I stopped in Georgia. It's seven of us that work at my company that's coming from uh, South Carolina right now, right? Everybody else stopped in Florida. And I bet y'all money, I make it, I make it to where we're going before all of them. I stopped in Georgia. Everybody else is in Florida. Everybody else went in front of me because I trip plan better than they do. I'm gonna arrive before all of them. Watch. You know. For real, for real. Yeah, we got seven people in the building right now. Appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Um, we gonna get out of here, man. I'm gonna um, get me something to eat and lay it down. Georgia's open, man. Georgia's wide open, but I'm not dining in nowhere. I'm good right here where I'm at. I ain't dining in nowhere. But Georgia's wide open. Ruby Tuesdays is open for dining in. Um, KFC, they're open. Burger King is open, McDonald's is open, Chick-fil-A is open, everything's open. But yo, 
We out of here. Appreciate y'all for stopping through. Big, when you going live again, man? Next time you go live, man, let me know. Drop me a text or something, huh? Y'all be easy.